Hey guys, I think this, uh, this is Roger with Roger's Reviews, and I think I just found my new next toy. Actually, this is going to be um, my next uh, little transport vehicle. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Saunders, but they were able to make one of the most uh, inexpensive first e-bikes to the masses. And they're coming out this year, at the end of the year, they're supposed to be producing these um, metacycles. And basically what it is, is um, in between like a zero motorcycle and an electric bike. Um, they gave out the specs. This is supposed to go 80 miles an hour for 80 miles, which is basically uh, what my Nissan Leaf does right now. So. This will be a great little vehicle to zip around, do estimates, go back and forth the store, run errands. Um, just be a fun little vehicle to zip around on. And I had a, uh, 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 a lightning, uh, a light B. It was a, a little electric um, mountain bike. I paid around 32, 3,300 bucks for it plus shipping. So around 3,500 bucks. Um, it was an awesome little vehicle. Uh, it went 50 miles uh, in about 47 mile an hour. So basically, uh, it was it was really nice. It couldn't really pedal very well, um, and it wasn't street legal. So I was always kind of pushing the uh, legality of it of riding it on the sidewalk or riding it on the road. And then if I put it into sport mode and went up to 50, I was always, uh, you know, basically putting myself under uh, the ability to get a ticket or, you know, whatever, get my bike taken from me. So needless to say, I sold that and um, I got like, I think around $2,500 for it, but I had really good time with it. I rode it for like a year, everybody rode it, had a good time. I uh, was able to do a couple reviews on it but I was always afraid that I was gonna get pulled over. <laughs> I did get pulled over once, I was on the sidewalk, but once they found out it was electric, they let me go. But this right here, I think is, good, is the ticket. This is, this is the awesome little transport vehicle that you're going to be able to basically do all your little errands, go to the store, go to the gym, um, do your estimates on, just, bop around and it only weighs 200 pounds. So this would also be an excellent vehicle to put in the back of your cyber truck or put in the, put in the back of your um, motor home and take it on trips. And this would be your last few miles. Uh, say you go on vacation and you have a motor home or something, you could throw this thing in the back. And uh, you know, if you needed some, some milk or some, you know, a loaf of bread or needed to go to the store for, you know, a pack of cigarettes, can't uh, six pack or, you know, whatever. Um, had to run some mail down to the post office. Um, the only thing I think it's lacking is uh, a way to carry things, but I'm sure that you can add stuff on here and there's a big hole in the middle. And I was already thinking about making some bungee cords or, you know, those bungee nets put around there. And that'd be an awesome place to carry, carry stuff. And I'm sure you could put something on the back but it comes in three colors. This is the one I pick. Uh, you got Arctic, white, and you've got naked. And I was actually thinking about getting the naked one because it would actually, it would match the cyber truck. And it's just, it's an all aluminum frame. This battery actually can come out, but it weighs like 50 pounds. So it's not something you really want to tote up, up some stairs. I mean, you could, but I don't think a lot of people would want to do that. Everything's internalized, all the wiring and stuff. So it's very clean, very simple looking. There's no pedals, of course. This is a motorcycle. It's gonna be legal on the street. And they're taking orders right now. It's $100 down and it's gonna be $5,000 for this bike. Um, it's got turn signals and everything. So I'm not sure exactly if the turn signals are gonna be legal because the turn signals are inside the headlight inside the tail light so um the legality of that might change a little bit but um i think this is an excellent 
little machine and it's going to fill a big void because I wanted to get a, a, a zero enduro and uh, they're supposed to be $89.95 and I went to my local dealer and they tried to charge me almost $12,000 and I told them I said hey this is the MSRP is like $89.95 why are you guys charging you know close to 12 grand 13 grand and they're like it was because we're the only dealership <laughs> well needless to say I did not buy one. I test drove um, the Zero Enduro. I test drove their Crotch Rocket Sport Bike, and I also test drove their um, their bigger bike. It was kind of like a crossover Enduro, um, but it was like a hybrid, and it had the same motor as the uh, Crotch Rocket. I really wanted that one, but they wanted way too much money. I mean, you're talking close to 20 grand. Uh, 15 20 grand and um, the reason i liked it is because the bigger ones you can actually charge it with the j j12 or whatever the same plug you can plug in your nissan leaf um and all these plugs are readily available level two and you could plug it in and with it wasn't even like an hour or maybe an hour and a half two hours you get a full charge from zero so um, the only thing that concerns me is how you charge this thing. They weren't really specific on how to charge it. Um, you might just be a 110 plug, but if they could do a level two charging on this, especially if you could charge it at um, like, you know, your uh, J11, 1172 or whatever it is, the right, you know, the basic standard charger that most of your Nissan Leafs and a lot of your other level two chargers are on, because I already have a couple of them at the shop i got one across the street and my mom has a couple chargers i installed um, but i'm really excited about this bike uh, it has different payment options you can uh, do um, and like i said i'm, I'm kind of have mixed emotions about the, the aluminum and the black i think just the black looks so much cooler uh, the silver is cool but it's like i think the black's even cooler so let me know what you guys like if you guys want the white one the naked aluminum or the black i'm kind of leaning towards the black one so maybe i'll get a black one and a silver one and a white one <laughs> no just kidding I, I can't afford all three um i'm thinking about ordering one but the problem is if you order one you either got to pay all up front or you got to make payments and you only you can only make like seven payments so like say if I'm going to, uh, let's see if I can order, order one of these things. Uh, if I go down, here's a pretty cool picture. Um, you can see how futuristic it looks and where your gas tank would be is just an empty hole. And also too, there's a place on top where you can put your cell phone and it charges, it just sits in there, kind of like the Tesla, and it charges without connecting with anything. Um, and there's a little glass or a plastic case that goes over it so you can still navigate and Bluetooth through it. Uh, so basically you wear a helmet with Bluetooth and you can hear your phone and it will be charging. I'm not sure these air vents are a good idea, um, especially in the rain and stuff, but I'm sure they've got that figured out. Uh, it's got a rear hub motor, which is very durable and uh, low maintenance. So basically, I can see the only thing you're going to have a problem with is the tires. Uh, you might have to replace the tires, you know, every couple years, depending on rides. Uh, the front tire is going to last a long time. The back tire, if it's torquey and you spin a lot, you're probably going to go through that tire. But um, that's the only problem is... Uh, the hub motors they're kind of hard to change tires i don't know how they have this set up in the back but it would be nice if uh, uh they made it to where it's easily accessible and easy to change that back tire i had a um a little electric scooter um and that was a problem in the back i had to take it to the shop to get the tire off because there's a wire that's connected and you, you kind of have to keep it connected. You can't, there was no way to disconnect it. If there was a plug where you could disconnect the back tire and that back cable, it would make it so much easier. So I'm hoping they have some type of connector you can disconnect that hub motor. Um, the front would be exactly the same as any other 
regular motorcycle, so that won't be a problem. Um, but yeah, that's my only concern is that rear tire. And what I would probably do is keep a spare. Um, hopefully it's something I can order off Amazon and just keep one spare all the time. That way if I have a flat, um, I could replace it. But uh, it's $5,000 plus tax. Uh, estimated shipping is the end of the year. So end of this year. $100 refundable deposit for 90 days. And if you order now, um, add to the cart. See, I already was thinking about ordering one. I'm gonna take this one off. So you can pay in full five grand or you can pay a hundred bucks down. Um, if you pay a hundred bucks down, you have to make payments. So you can make payments of, I think it's around, it's for seven months. So if you put a hundred bucks down, I should have kept this filled out, but continue with terms. Okay, I pay a hundred bucks down and then seven per hundred per month for seven months. I really don't want another payment, so that's why I'm kind of hesitant to order this thing. I'd rather just pay it off, but I don't want to put anything on my credit card. I don't want to use my extra cash right now, so I'm, I'm going to think it over for a few days. Someone said the ordering, I only have till the end of the month or whatever. I'm not sure about that, but this is an awesome deal for five grand. Basically, you get like a performance of a, a zero. And they don't give the zero to 60 time or anything like that, but I think this thing would be very quick because um, you have anything that goes 80 mile an hour for 80 miles. And it, I think it's probably gonna be, it's not gonna be super fast, but it's gonna be peppy. And it'll be enough to basically get in and out of traffic without any problem. And it's going to be something you don't want to drive on the highway all the time. But if you have to get up on the highway and get off, like maybe an exit or two, I think it'll be capable. But I wouldn't recommend driving this on the highway. Uh, I don't even like to ride a mo regular motorcycles on the highway because your top speed's 80. Most of these people drive way over 80. So anyway, this is the new plan. Uh, I just saw this last night and I'm really excited about it. I'm going to show a couple guys I work with. I'll see if they're interested and I got to find out uh, if I can sell a few things and uh, come up with five grand, another five grand. I was thinking about doing DoorDash and give myself like maybe, uh, I, I think I can make 700 a month doing DoorDash. So uh, basically, I, yeah, I'd have to make, um, two or 300 bucks a week doing DoorDash on the side. So I might um, end up doing that. Just that way it won't affect my savings or have to sell Tesla stock or anything like that. But anyway, this is Roger with Roger's Reviews on the Saunders Metacycle. Uh, the super massive is the one I want all blacked out. If anybody has any information on what the zero to 60 time is, um, please let me know. Um, if anybody has any additional comments or know any more information, I would love to know more about this bike before I decide to purchase it. Uh, I almost ordered one last night, but I was just like, ah, oh, let me, let me think about this. It's a lot of money to spend. Uh, that's like a Tesla payment for a year <laughs> or seven months. Uh, so anyway, appreciate it. And, uh, please like this uh, video and please share it. And, uh, we'll bring you more cool stuff in the future. Have a great day.